Hey guys, Jeremiah here to do a quick tutorial on how to use a portable suction unit. Um, for those of you who are going through EMT class, make sure that you become familiar with your equipment. Uh, if you have portable suction units, you want to make sure that you use it in class, that you assemble them, and you're familiar with how they work and operate. Now, this is one of the units off of our ambulance here. It's a newer model, and uh, I want you to see that it comes kind of set up ready to go in the event that you have to suction a patient's airway. So you have your suction catheter here. This is a rigid tip suction catheter. It's also called a yank hour. You'll see that there's tubing attached to it. And the tubing, the other end, is going to go on your suction canister. These are portable, so if you fill it up, you throw it away. One of the things I want you to note is that there's a barb fitting here, and it says patient. So the suction tubing is going to attach to the patient side, right? Because this is the tubing that's going to go into the patient's mouth. You have a center hole that says vacuum on it, right? That hole is going to connect to the tubing that is also connected to the suction machine, right? So where it says vacuum, you want to make sure that the tubing is connected to the machine. That's where the vacuum is created. So this tubing here is going to attach to the center hole, which is the vacuum hole. This tubing here, again, is connected to my suction catheter. And that's gonna go on the barb fitting that says patient. Anytime you're suctioning, you wanna make sure that you're wearing the appropriate PPE or BSI. You wanna make sure you have gloves on, and it's not a bad idea to make sure you have a face mask and eye protection. Another thing you want to make sure you have is sterile water. If you are suctioning and the tubing becomes clogged, you're going to need a way to unclog it, so you want to make sure you have your, your water. When you're suctioning, you'll notice on the rigid tip Yankauer catheters, most of them have a hole in it. So when you turn the device on, suction hasn't been initiated. Suction hasn't been initiated until you put your thumb over the hole. Once you do that, you're going to initiate suction and be able to clear the airway. Right? This is important for several reasons. Why? First, when you're inserting the suction, you don't want to have suction initiated because we're trying to clear whatever's in the back of the airway first. Another thing we don't want to do is cause any injury to the mucosa as we're inserting the catheter. Right? You can cause microtrauma, you can cause bleeding if you're really aggressive. So we don't initiate, initiate suction right away. Lastly, remember that we only suction for 15 seconds or less. That's important because we don't want to cause hypoxia. Also, when you're suctioning, make sure you measure or you at least verbalize that you're going to insert no further than you can see. Again, if you suction too deeply, you can stimulate the vagus nerve, which is going to cause bradycardia. So if you suction too deep, and you stimulate the vagus nerve, then we're gonna drop the patient's heart rate. Lastly, you also don't wanna stimulate the gag reflex. So again, if you insert the suction catheter too deeply, you're going to, um, you're gonna stimulate the gag reflex and that can cause the patient to vomit. That's gonna make the situation worse. All right, that's the suction unit in a nutshell. Um, again, be familiar with your equipment. Make sure you know where the power button is, how to turn it on and how everything's connected. Hope you found this video and this tutorial useful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And as always, take care and be safe. All right, guys, so just a quick recap. Here is your suction unit. This is your removable canister. You have down here your power button on off and here's your suction tubing you've got a spot for gloves now when you're hooking this canister up put the canister in again this is the tubing that's attached to the pump itself so you want the tubing to be connected to the vacuum side in the middle of the canister then your suction tubing will be attached to the stem that says patient on it. I'm gonna have to zoom in to see that. It says patient there. Plug the tubing over the stem. <clears throat> and then we will turn our suction unit on. I'm not gonna do it now because it's too loud. 
and you would suction as necessary. Remember when you initiate suction, you need to put your thumb over the hole in the yank cower or the rigid tip catheter. You're gonna cover it up with your thumb. And once you do that, it's gonna initiate suction on the end of the catheter itself. When you let go, you won't feel the suction anymore. And that's it. That's how you suck it.